Good morning. In today's video, we are doing part two of our tour through Jungle Gems International Market. Yesterday, we did part one, where we go over the farmer's market, a lot of the different other products they have. Today, we are focusing only on the international market. We're going to check out all the different uh, around the world countries. This place is massive. I'll try to cover as much as I can. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into the international fruits and vegetables part, which is just past the huge farmer's market that we saw in yesterday's video, uh, we got from all over the country, uh, white coconuts from Mexico, uh, brown coconuts from the Dominican. Uh, we got so, some Florida mixed in here. Got some green, green coconuts here, and we have some Mexican banana leaves. This, this place is just amazing. If you guys happen to miss our first video, our part one of Jungle Gems tour here, the farmer's market, and some different awesome cheeses, I will leave that link in the description box so you can check that out after this video. But uh, this is what a lot of people were wanting to see. Some of these uh, Costa Rica red bananas here. Look at these little teeny tiny bananas. These are amazing. Um, all different kinds of things. They have some... Uh, some Honduras baby bananas right here. Found some calabaza squash here from Costa Rica. I mean, if, if you like to shop different international products, this is the place to come. It is one of the biggest in the country. Uh, it, Jungle Gems International Market is formerly known as Jungle Gems Farmer's Market, but they have since added this massive area that is, we can see here, we see Asian, uh, let's see, we got some Middle Eastern, Indian, Chinese, Africa. We're going to be checking out all this stuff today. Um, let's see, we got some Jamaican turmeric root. That's interesting. Got some fresh shallots here. Got some Mexican fresh uh, jacama. I guess how that's pronounced. Jacama there, $1.99 a pound. Got some cactus leaves for $1.49 a pound. Mexican green mango. Uh, down here, Mexican green mangoes, $5.99 a pound. Back here past the first aisle of the international fruits and vegetables, notice that they have some different frozen products here from around the world. Some spicy uh, beef patties. Where's this from? The Caribbean. Caribbean food delights. Um, that is interesting. Some other things here. Just kind of, just kind of, you know, I've never actually been back in this section before, so I have been through the international market, but wanted to check out some of these frozen items. See what they got back here. It's kind of the, kind of the, uh, we have too much already. We have to put it somewhere. Type cabinets. Interesting. We have some Mexico banana flour here. Some Bengali squash. Dollar uh, ninety nine a pound for this, or dollar ninety nine for one of these. Two ninety nine a pound for those. They have some Madagascar vanilla bean, $16.99 each. Mexican uh, calabaquita, which is $2.99 a pound. Some Mexican aji peppers, uh, $4.49 a pound. They have some Thai green and Thai red peppers here, $8.99 a pound. Just anything you guys can think of. Again, if you missed our video from yesterday, make sure you check that out. I will leave that in the description box below. I will also post it as one of the videos you can click on at the end of this video to make it a little easier for you. Look at this. Chinese eggplant. Chinese eggplant here, $1.99 a pound. They got Thai eggplant right here, which look how small these are. Thai eggplant, $1.99 a pound. Uh, let's see. Some Chinese bitter melon here for $2.49 a pound. Caramel. Thai white eggplant. Really small, that's, or, yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, I was a little confused here for a second. They're kind of all bunched together here as far as some of the prices go. So I gotta kind of, some of this stuff I've never seen before. So this is the uh, Mexican green long eggplant here. Uh, and then this one right here is USA. We have some Napa cabbage here, some Mexican Filipino, some Mexican Filipino eggplant. And then we have the Chinese cauliflower right here, and these are $3.49 a pound. And then we have some Taiwan, Taiwanese cabbage, $1.79 a pound. First stop in the international market, we're going to check out some of the Italian, different products of Italy. 
Are you surprised that in the Italian section here that there are just so many different cooking oils, <laughs> different vinegars? Uh, again, we're not going to go through prices and stuff like that. Um, some of this stuff can get a little pricey, I will say that, but you got to think shipment cost and all that stuff. Uh, but Jungle Gems, they do an amazing job. I mean, ordering all this stuff, I mean, it's why they have to charge a little more because you know they are paying a lot of money to get all of this stuff here. They got some balsamic uh, vinegars and stuff like that here too. But I mean, I can just go on and on and on, guys. I mean, this is this is crazy. I don't know, I don't know anything about any of these products. They're all from Italy, but that's what's awesome about this. You come here and you, you try some new things. Uh, this caters to a lot of people that are in America from out of town also, if they want to get some of their favorite products while you're staying here in Cincinnati. It's so worth a trip to come here to check out some of all these different things. Different kinds of linguine, lasagna, different spaghettis. All this is imported from Italy, so so we got some different, all kinds of different pastas, uh, like a whole aisle here of different kinds of pastas. They have um, some of this. I can't even pronounce some of this stuff, but mostly just kind of checking it out, showing you guys what this place is all about. Um, you know, I highly recommend coming to check it out for yourself. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. So many different kinds of pastas. It is crazy. Uh, one of my favorite areas to visit here when we were at, when we're at Jungle Gems, we have more Italian uh, products, snacks, just, I, it's, I, I don't know, it is a little overwhelming. Um, it's so amazing how they get all this stuff here. Um, I like how they threw in Rayos here, Rayos, uh, yeah, but all these are imported from Italy here. I don't know if uh, is Rayos imported from Italy. Uh, no, from New Jersey. <laughs> imported from New Jersey. We got Cleveland's own, so I assume that's from Cleveland. But here's what a famous uh, Cincinnati pizza sauce, uh, La Rosa's. Buddy La Rosa founded La Rosa's Pizza in Cincinnati, Ohio. It is really good. Um, but yeah, all these different products right here are all imported from Italy and, and we will see uh, all these products that are imported from all their different countries. So along the back wall here they have a lot of different art of different building styles uh, in all over the countries. You find this kind of stuff all over Jungle Gyms, a lot of animatronics. We have done other videos at Jungle Gyms uh, where we go over a lot of that stuff. Greece, Scandinavia, Spain, and back here is where we are going next into the German Pavilion of Foods. As we head into Germany here, we notice they have a lot of different jellies and jams. They must really love this kind of stuff. I know Germans like their chocolate too, so we're gonna uh, hopefully come across some good German chocolate. Again, just kind of doing like a little overlook. I can't go over everything. We would be here for a week. I'm not kidding. Uh, this place is enormous. Uh, Jungle Gems is the biggest store I've ever been in in my life as far as groceries. Uh, let's see, we got some, uh, what is this? Some coffee here, Jacob's Cronut Gold. It's interesting. Got some other coffees here, got some espresso. Um, again, it's gonna be a little pricey because all of this stuff is imported from Germany. $14.39 here for that. Uh, Dalmar, Dalmar. Um, Coffee here, $6.29. I don't feel like that's too bad of a price. We have some other different ones here. And here we have a lot of different chocolates. I wouldn't be too surprised if we see uh, like Shokara or something like that. Because we know most chocolate products at Aldi are German. Uh, let's see, we got a popular one here, the Mika chocolate. Lots of different varieties of these. Um, gotten a few comments on these in the past, actually. Got an Oreo one there. Let's see, $1.99 for these. Yeah, so these things must really be popular here. I think I might try this dark milk here, the Milka brand. Let's see, dark chocolate with alpine milk and almonds. Sounds like a winner. Chocolate for days. I'll tell you what, guys, this is just, you know what, even when you think that the main area is over, they have even more stuff. 
more stuff that they had to throw back here. They've got kosher, they got France, Greece, they have uh, Canada products, Portugal, Scandinavia, Spain, um, let's see, Ireland, Holland, my goodness. Wanted to check out some of these products from Holland here. We're going to kind of have to pick and choose what we do today because it, I, it, there's a lot of areas, a lot of this would, like I said, it would take me a week to go through all of this. Got some Stroop waffles here, different candies, some Dutch chocolate here. Wow, it is just so cool, guys. This place is so awesome. Some Napoleon <laughs> uh, lemon candies there. All kinds of different snacks from all around the world. Um, and, and the more bigger ones, which we're going to check out, I just wanted to pick one of these smaller sections because I want to focus on some of the bigger ones that they have with a lot more different foods. But it's cool to see stuff from uh, Holland here. Okay, so now we are entering the Hispanic part of Jungle Gems here, and this is probably the most massive that they have here as far as any country for the most. I think the Hispanic section wins for most foods, which we're gonna cover some of it here. A lot of these different cheeses, I don't even know where to start. Like as we saw in yesterday's video, that we saw cheese, 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 and more cheese. And here we go again, more cheese. <laughs> I mean, they probably have some of this stuff up that we checked yesterday too, but lots of different queso, uh, queso quesadilla cheeses, just, uh, it is overwhelming guys I'm not gonna not gonna lie uh, you definitely if you come up here and you're staying in Cincinnati for a little while you definitely want to come for a couple days this right here decorated with pinatas is like Goya Island right here so many different Goya beans I, this is crazy if you can't find a Goya product here it does not exist Goya rice Goya beans all over the place uh, some of the uh, Dominican red beans here, 369. Uh, that is only one pound. But it's just amazing. This place is absolutely amazing. Even more Goya products over here. We have a Hispanic Quaker oats. I mean, that, that's awesome. All this different, like Goya honey. Goya makes a lot more products uh, than I ever thought of. I mean, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> we get a lot of great comments on Goya products. So I wanted to kind of give a little extra attention to some of this stuff today. What is this? Guava paste. Guava. Made by Goya. Got some different jams here. They've got different Goya chocolate here. Sweet dulce. Wow, these are heavy. Seven ounces. Seven ounces. $3.39 for that. They've got the chocolate corte. All kinds of Hispanic treats, lots of things from uh, Goya. I, Goya's. Uh, I'm surprised. I like. I knew Goya was big on beans and spices, and uh, rice and different things like that. Didn't realize how much other stuff they made here. It's interesting. Uh, let's see. We got different things here. Got some. Uh, let's see. It looks interesting. Wow. Four. Oh, it's a dollar ninety nine for these. Uh, pork rinds. Next on the list, we're going to check out some different food items from Africa. These particular foods right here come from South Africa. I've got some different teas here. Uh, Kerry Cho Gold. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see, we got uh, some different fruit bat. That's interesting. Like, yeah, okay, so it's a jam. Different jams. It's just called fruit bat. Got some different chili sauces by Black Mamba. Got some other spices here. Let's see, this is by Ina Parmans. Ina Parmans here. A little pricey, but you gotta think, they are getting these imported, so that's gonna add to the cost. Got some more different spices here. They got some different rubs. Uh, African rub here. Funky Oma. Funky Oma. Got some chili salt, seafood spice, sea salt here. Different kinds of things. We got some wheat, some gari here, African Food Distributors Incorporated. 10 pounds, uh, 17, 19 for that. They have some Ian uh, Pounded Yam, $29.99 for this. Interesting. Got some rice flour here, uh, Chickafa rice flour. It's 
I always think it's interesting to see how different countries like box and uh, sell their items like these are in these really airtight bags right here not like you know the ones we get down the street where they don't have to be like that um, so you got some different all kinds of different things sorry uh, for whatever reason the uh, African pavilion here at Jungle Gyms is very crowded must be some really good stuff in here uh, Grace corned beef corned beef here a little little pricey on that but they also sell peaked brand of the evaporated milk uh, so we saw this both in the Hispanic and the African section. Um, now this just says African, so we don't really know. Like that stuff down there is like South African, but they will break it down uh, pretty much where exactly they got it from. Okay, so we may have to cycle back around to some of the African stuff. There are people everywhere. This place is shoulder to shoulder today. Um, again, I don't know if I had already said this, but if you're coming to Jungle Gyms, you may want to come on like a Tuesday or Wednesday uh, because during the weekend, this place is very packed. Disney World type packed. But I wanted to check out some of the Middle Eastern stuff they have here. They have the Sultan Turkish Delights here. Um, again, don't know much of anything about any of these products. All we can do is really just compare it to what similar products are around here. Stuffed grape leaves. That's interesting. Pickled turnips. Got some pickled turnips here. Egg, roasted eggplant lots lots of interesting things so many different things to choose from like I've always said if they don't have it at Jungle Gyms it does not exist many different things here we got pickles we got jarred uh, specialty olives different jarred beans that's interesting a lot of people over that way so I don't want to get in their way there but uh, just all kinds of really cool looking stuff um, let's see some different like cookies here again always interesting to see how how these things are kind of packaged i mean i'm sure this is not how they are imported they're imported in these but obviously big boxes but kind of interesting to see how some of the stuff are look at this 100 percent vegetarian breadsticks with thyme got some different little macaronis here from the middle east got some couscous it's interesting uh, some different coffees. This is really cool. Uh, small, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm sure, it probably says back here. Product of product of Jordan, Ahmed Food Industries. Uh, and then there's a phone number. <laughs> but yeah, different kind of coffee there. Oh, does it say on the? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, Alamede coffee, fresh coffee. Different kinds, Arabic Sada, fresh coffee, dark without uh, cardamom. Next, we are entering East Europe. Start off here, they have a lot of different juices here. Look kind of interesting. Got some big thing of 100% all natural pomegranate juice. Uh, different like blueberry juice here, that looks interesting. Uh, some, some uh, was that pickled beets? That is. Red beets, boy, they love beets. Beetroot, yeah, pickled baby beets. Somebody was asking about pickled beets. I uh, got some different honey. I'll tell you what, I mean, you do, you, it's probably good to come in here with a plan, but maybe not when you're in the international market part of this. Just, I don't know, it's like I, you could literally look in here for days. Um, I had all intentions of going over everything in the international market here, but there's just no way it would be it would be 10 videos. Maybe I should have just done a video on like international coffees. That would have been interesting. But we have a lot of different teas here. Uh, Koro tea, Eastern Europe tea. Got some, uh, oh, here's some different coffees right here. Uh, Jubilarna. Yeah, maybe this is what we should just look at here until... Uh, for the remainder here. The place is getting very crowded here too, so I'm having to kind of like interween my way in and out of things. Did I say interween? I meant interweave or get through. It's hard to get through here today. Lots, okay, so we have entered the China part of Jungle Gems here. Lots of different soy sauces, of course. Different organic options. Um, let's see, chili oil. That's interesting. Uh, and, and this is probably, I would say, next to the Hispanic area, 
this is probably the next biggest. Uh, it covers about uh, pretty much from the top here over like three or four aisles. And back here beyond the Chinese section, the China section, they do have the rice section. Actually got some good comments here on this 25 pound bag of the Thai Hamali uh, Jungle Gems rice here. $31.99 for 25 pounds. A little pricey, but people say it's really good. And if you're looking for some different exotic rices or, you know, different from around the world rice in this back corner here, this is the place to find it. Uh, let's see here. This is uh, Yang Na Lan. Thai home molly rice, 25 pound bag for uh, $27.99. We got some Asian taste long grain sweet rice, $29.99 for a 25 pound bag. And just all kinds, all kinds guys. I mean, you wanna stock up on rice, uh, you know, something that you can stow away for a while, pack them up into, uh, you know, mylar bags and store them up, make it last as long as you can. I mean, this is, this is, Amazing. This this puts uh, this puts Sam's and Costco to shame. And when you thought it was over, here we have more, just endless. And right here we have the world of ramen. So to give you guys an idea, we are still in the China section here. These are all uh, you can tell the Chinese love their ramen noodles. I mean, it is everywhere. All different kinds, kinds you've never seen before, all imported from China. Uh, and some of this, you know, around Asia, maybe outside of China some. I know we saw some Taiwanese, um, you know, back further. So one of the things that I find absolutely amazing about this right now is the amount of people that are back here in these sections buying stuff. Like... So far, it's taken me 10 minutes to go down this aisle because it keeps packing up with people. Everybody's getting ramen, everybody's buying rice, everybody's, you know, in the Hispanic area, the German area where the candy was. I mean, it is, I, I can see why they're getting all this stuff because they are selling it. They are selling it and they're selling a lot of it. So when I cut across to the other aisle here, guess what we have? More ramen. <laughs> Oh, this is this is crazy, guys. This is hilarious. I mean, I, I like ramen noodles. So we are still in the international market area, but I wanted to check out some of the different fish options since we are kind of in Lent here. Uh, $8.99 a pound for this live rootshouse aquaponics tilapia. Uh, this is part of the savings for the week. Look at these little guys. Hello. I want you. Okay, so you guys ready to see a lot of fish? Previously frozen cod fillets, $12.99 a pound. Walleye fillet, $14.99 a pound. Got some tilapia right here, uh, $7.99 a pound. Catfish. Catfish looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of catfish, though. $10.99 a pound for that. They have the skate fillets here for $8.99. Wild cobia fillets for $10.99. Just all kinds of different kinds of fish, guys. It's amazing. Uh, got tilefish fillets here, golden for $16.99. Got the cod loin for $16.99 a pound. The haddock fillets, $14.99 a pound. So not cheap, but I mean, they, you know, these uh, look fantastic. It's amazing the amount of work they put into this place. They have some fresh mahi mahi fillets here and yellowfish tuna steaks, $24.99 a pound. They got the fresh swordfish steaks here, $18.99 a pound, and some salmon. Uh, fresh hand-cut salmon steaks, $10.99 a pound, and the King Salmon Filets for $21.99 a pound. And they just have so much fish, it is crazy. They've got some sheephead right here, $8.99 a pound. Look at this guy. Hello, sir. This is whole main eel. That's right. That is an eel. Electrifying. Got some blue runners right here. Run away, $4.99 a pound. They have the red drum hole. Look at this big guy. That is crazy. They've got the ribbon fish right here, $4.99 a pound. Look at how beautiful these are. Crazy. Check out this whole monk fish here, $4.99 a pound. Look at this guy. Have you ever seen anything look like this? Look at that. 
That is crazy looking. They have a whole grouper here, $12.99 a pound. Some good looking grouper. And they have the whole wild striped bass here, $9.99 a pound. They have the whole black rainforest tilapia here, which I gotta say, look pretty good. $5.99 a pound. They've got the black mullet here for $4.99 a pound. Walleye down here. Good looking walleye for $7.99 a pound. Whole catfish. Look at this guy. Looks like he was, uh, I don't know. He looks kind of angry. Lots of red snapper, all different kinds of red snapper. All of them $9.99 a pound. Really pretty looking fish here. Well, at one time. Now they have some whole uh, yellowtail snapper here. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Got some whole king mackerel here. Uh, the headless fish. Look at that guy. Oh, look at those teeth. Crazy looking. And they got some black sea bass. $7.99 a pound. So they got some crab legs down here. Got some crab cakes. Got crab everything. All different kinds of seafood shrimp that you can think of. It is just amazing how much this place has. And it just goes on and on and on. Check out these monsters. Hello, sir. That is one big crab right there. Look at that. Here's my hand. There he is. That is enormous. Maybe one of the biggest lobsters I've ever seen. They are $14.99 a pound. Two to four pound live lobsters. $14.99 a pound. It says save $2 a pound. They are ready to go. They do have these giant lobster tails down here. $57.99 a pound. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, some of these six to eight ounce, um, $15.99 each. And then they have the cold water lobster tails, little tiny guys for $7.99 each. Then we've got some different uh, frozen Dungeness crab here, $19.99 a pound. And some other crab here, the cooked lobster, oh, lobster claw and arm, $19.99 a pound. Well, that was our trip to Jungle Gems. Awesome place. Absolutely love it. Um, the international food market there is amazing. All the different countries everywhere. Wasn't able to cover as much as I would have liked to. As you could see, it is enormous. Definitely worth making a trip to Jungle Gems to check it all out. I like seeing all the fish at the end and stuff. Wanted to go over some of that stuff with it being uh, Lent. You know, we are now in Lent here for the next month or so. So I wanted to go over some of the fish prices. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you missed part one, I will leave that link in the description box below and you can check it out over here. I will leave it up here to where you can click on that in case you missed it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out.